What's the most awkward situation you've ever been in? My ex-wife later came out as a lesbian. And we divorced. Years later. I went to her wedding. Where she married her now wife. Which was one of my ex-girlfriends. I was looking at my mom's phone cause she wanted to show me some pictures from what she did that weekend. I swiped one too many times and came across one of her nudes. I was in some business college class and the professor was talking about something related to how celebrities brand themselves. Someone in the class brought up Sean White as someone who had great celebrity branding but isn't really talked about a lot. The professor was Indian and said he wasn't familiar with who that was. So my genius ass thought it would be perfect to say out loud I'm talking about Mountain Dew's baby. As a joke reference to that newscast where Sean White said he had been drinking all night but was underage and the news person asked him what he meant so he responded with I'm talking about Mountain Dew's baby. And we all know one seemed to knew about that or at least didn't think it was funny as silence rang through the classroom and professor awkwardly moved on to a new topic. Truly the most awkward situation I've been in and also the worst haunting moment of my life. My 79 year old mother in law with Alzheimer's telling us that she had had sx the previous night with another resident of her nursing home. She had been celibate for 20 years up until then. We think. I don't know if this is really the most awkward. But it was deaf awkward. I visited my bio dad's old church in Mississippi a few years ago and spoke to his old preacher for a moment. One important detail for this story is that my dad died when I was 7. So a pretty good while back. My grandma told the preacher who I was. This is Pomelo Senior. S daughter. Pomelo. Preacher. OHH. Pomelo SR. Tell him I said hi for me. Me. Sure thing. My grandma's face was priceless. We agreed the preacher would feel really awkward when he remembered later that my dad was dead. When I was a kid. We were on holiday and decided to go to a church. While we were there I decided that I would be funny if I would slap my dad's ass with both hands. So I ran in full speed to maximize the impact of the slap. I ended up slapping a stranger who also happened to walk next to a woman with a stroller in his hands which made me think it was my dad. It was even worse that my parents saw it as well. It. Because people are asking what happened afterwards. My parents just laughed at me. Which made the guy laugh as well and then we just left the church I think. Asiso are you two dating? He said yes at the same time I said no. To which his friend told him Osai told you you didn't ask clearly enough. Edit I accidentally mixed up him saying yes and me saying no. I was at a funeral for one of my husband's relatives. On my way in. An employee of the funeral home asked me when I was due. I wasn't pregnant. But I am fat and was wearing an empire waistcoat so I wasn't offended. As I signed the guest book I corrected her and tried to defuse the situation with a joke about burning that coat later. But she just. Wouldn't. Stop. She kept trying to apologize and explain herself and I just wanted to run away. Then I was stuck in a small room with her for the next two hours. I have sort of an inverse story. When I was pregnant. I gained a lot of weight. One day, while I was very, very pregnant, I was riding up an elevator and someone on the other side waved at me as they were coming down. I did not know them. But I'm friendly so I waved back. They then realized their mistake and came up to explain. They said I'm sorry you look like my wife to which I cheerfully replied though. No. When is she due? Full stop. His wife wasn't pregnant. I was a teenager with a boner. Pretty standard so far. I walked downstairs and had to tuck it in my pajamas so the head is sticking straight up and the erection is pinned against the body so the boner isn't noticeable. Well. When I put my t-shirt on it fell behind the tip so if you looked at my waset line you could clearly see the tip of my penis. I was talking to my mom for a few minutes and she was flushed red in the face and quickly trying to kill conversation not something my mom is known for. I walked away. Saw what was going on and didn't know what the hell to do. We never discussed it but because things were so awkward at dinner. I'm pretty sure my mom knew that I realized it happened as well. 
was unexpectedly in the car ride with my boyfriend's parents on their way to sign their divorce papers. This poor girl walked into my lecture by mistake about halfway through. This particular professor really enjoys talking to all of his students and was super engaging even with 400 plus students in his class. When the girl walked in. My professor stopped teaching. Looked at the girl and asked if she was in the class. She said she was and began walking towards the front where the open seats were. This is a fairly large lecture hall and all 200 students, approx how many actually show up to class, were now forced to watch this poor girl walk towards a seat because the professor didn't continue talking and just stared at her. She got close to the front and I think the pressure of the whole room got to her and she said. Actually no I'm not and turned around and we all had to watch this poor girl climb back up the stairs and out of the hall. I was literally watching my worst nightmare. When I was a kid my family's van broke down so we all had to squeeze into my dad's car to go to a funeral. Anyways. My older sister had to sit on my lap. Yep. You guessed it. I got a boner and she freaked out and started screaming. I would just cut all contact with everyone and go live in the forest for the rest of my life. One time in college. I snuck into my Ra's room and hid under the blanket on his top bunk. My goal was to scare him when he came in and settled down a bit. He ended up coming in with his girlfriend and began making out with her. After a good, lifetime, couple moments. I jumped up and ran out. No saving it. Semicolon. Edit. Gilded Platinum. Thank you so much internet friends. I've said it to a few of you but it makes me legit happy that you have gotten a laugh and a smile out of my awkward story. When I was a kid I hugged a random dude because I thought it was my dad. Even better how this dude's son was standing next to him. You established yourself as his new son. One time when I was like 12-13 I was hanging out with some friends at a fast food joint in town. This town had a place that housed and employed mentally challenged individuals. So those individuals would often come to the restaurant for lunch. On this particular day, a group of them was arriving just as we were leaving. One of the guys walked up to us and said hey. Do you wanna see my weenie? And whipped it right out. Broad daylight. Right there were stunned and then super embarrassed being immature 12-13 year olds and all comma his caretaker was mortified but great he immediately took control of the situation reprimanded the individual apologized profusely to us made the individual apologize etc so yeah that's right up there as far as awkward situations go my family's not super religious but, when I was about 13, they decided to go to synagogue on Purim for some reason. Part of Purim involves reading from the book of Esther, which has a part about Esther coming to see the king while he's sitting on his throne in the throne room and when he sees her, he stands up and extends the golden scepter. When the rabbi got to that part, my 13 year old brain pictured Esther coming to see the king while he's sitting on the shter and burst out laughing. No one else laughed. Instead. Everyone turned to stare at me and I had to explain myself to an entire room of people. We now celebrate Purim in the comfort of my parents home. Okay I already posted in this thread but I remembered something even worse. When I was in second grade. My brother and I would always be picked up after school by my dad. We had a green van with a red stripe on the side. So my brother grabs my hand and storms us up to the car. He rips open the door. Sits us down. Buckles me in. And then says can we get McDonald's on the way home? We both look up and there is two middle aged adults sitting in the front seat that are obviously not our family. They stare at us. We stare at them. In my little brain we've been staring at each other for at least 10 minutes at this point. My brother unbuckles me. Unbuckles himself. We get out and walk away. No words were exchanged. We then checked who was in the car before getting in from that point forward. Edit. I've been on Reddit for 6 years and this is my highest comment by far. Thank you so much for the gold and silver. You're all so nice. I've loved hearing your similar stories. 
I was riding in the passenger seat with my mom. Who has always been strict and very tight knit several years ago. When for some reason she decided to completely open up to me about all of her drug experimentation and SZL exploits in the 60s. And the time she did cocaine with Steve Jobs at a fancy restaurant in the 80s. It was a very uncomfortable eye opener and I was trapped listening to it. Her mom did cocaine with Steve Jobs. I used to run a restaurant and had inherited an employee with a slay of mental health issues. She had massive anxiety issues and just couldn't handle the pressure of working in a restaurant. She'd break down and cry over simple mistakes if she felt she was making too many. It was extremely unfortunate. But I was terribly underprepared to coach someone like that. One day. During downtime. The cooks were shooting the shti and recounting stories of weird ex-co-workers. I opened up my yap and said. Who was the one who kept crying every time they'd screw up? She was two feet away and literally responded with me. Dot. I was in the car with my girlfriend's best friend's moms and her other daughter. We made talk in the car and I just ended up asking what their favorite color was. They then told me the other daughter was actually blind. I had barely known these people and was in the car for another 20 minutes. Sue. So, black. I am someone who never feels awkward and doesn't get embarrassed. But this moment got me good. I was doing orientation for my college. I wanted to meet the dean of my department and make a good impression. I walk in his office and he is bent over behind his desk looking for something. I introduce myself and stick my hand out to shake his hand. He sits up and he has no arms. I look at him and look at my hand and I am freaking out. It felt like my hand was out there for an eternity and I did the only thing I could think of to do. I ran my hand through my hair and tried to play it off. He never said anything and just started talking to me but I felt like I was actually going to die of embarrassment. I hope I don't come off as a dick but. What was he looking for and what was his plan of getting it with no arms? I walked in on my roommate in senior year of college banging his girlfriend. We had a rule about a hat on the door if we wanted privacy. There was no hat when I came back one morning and I got a full. I level. Side view of him and her mid thrust because he had the top bunk. They kind of laughed it off but was pretty awkward for me. Could have been worse. At least it was his girlfriend. I was sitting in class and the kid next to me farted and I said god bless you as if it were a sneeze. A gentleman was outside the hotel smoking in his holy. Edit. Holy. It's wordplay. Comma jogging pants. I really wanted to tell him his balls were showing. But I couldn't summon the courage to do it. He wanted to chat about Magic the Gathering. Shti myself at a Super Bowl party while throwing a football around. Then my mom walked in on me while I was cleaning myself up. So yeah. Okay so me and some friends were at a restaurant and a buddy of mine was telling us about this new girl he just started going out with a few days back. Well another friend what started telling us about this girl that he banged the previous night. The conversation went on for a minute and finally somebody asked for the name of the girl that he had banged and it turns out it was a girl that the other friend had started dating a few days earlier. Q narrowly avoided fight as we convinced him it's better to find out she's shtty now rather than later. The two guys still no longer speak though. When I was 13 or 14 the guy I had a crush on took me to a park to talk and learn to know each other. We sat under some trees and everything was going pretty well. Until guess a bird shat on my head while I was talking to him. I had to go back home to wash my hair a few times. This was several years ago. I was over at my boyfriend's parents house for his dad's birthday. I'm fairly awkward and my boyfriend likes to joke. So he walks up to his dad and tells him I have a present for him. His dad turns to me and says well great. Let's see it. I did not have a present for him. I still cringe thinking about having to tell him I didn't actually have a gift for him. Back when I was in college I got friendly with a girl in my sociology class. She brought a picture of her boyfriend in once to show me what he looked like. This was before Facebook was massively popular. I asked her who the guy next to him in the photo was. She replied Ossith that's me. Mortified. 
I did community service with a youth group when I was around 10-11. Around the Christmas holiday. We bought and wrapped a bunch of gifts to take to an old folks home. I pick up a gift and walk over to this elderly gentleman. I'm swelling with pride and eager to drink in the large glass of thank you else I'm about to be served. He opens a really nice pair of slippers and looks at them for a moment. What the hell am I supposed to do with these? You put them on your feet. I delightfully exclaim. I haven't had feet since Vietnam. Edit. Whoa. This comment blew up. Thanks for the gold kind stranger. My highest rated comment is about a guy with no feet. Every other edit edit trope. Edit 2. The first edit is satire. Based on the comments below. My mom and I were in the car and the vehicle in front of us had a fake taxi sticker on it and my mom asked me what a fake taxi was. Oh shti. Reading the comments. I remember my by far worst moment. I was at my aunt's house for Christmas meetup. My whole family from my mother's side is always there, and we were just talking about some stuff. The shtt wildlife pro tips subreddit came into my mind. And I told her that there are some tips like you should drive faster when you are drunk. Because driving drunk is dangerous and you get home faster. I was laughing. She just sat there. Looking at me like frozen. And then told me with her voice breaking. That would be funny. But did you know that one of my best friends died two months ago because he was driving drunk? And he was too fast. She then started to cry. I really wanted to stop existing at that moment. When I was in elementary school. I hated using the public bathroom. And would always use the nurse's bathroom instead. She was nice and understood this. However. One day I needed the bathroom and she was not around. So I'll let myself in. Shortly afterward. The nurse came back with a student and begun feeding him with a stomach tube. I was horrified. I realized that this was a closely guarded secret and decided to wait in the bathroom for it to end. Hoping to sneak out later. But very shortly after it ended. More and more students with secret medical needs kept coming. And the hole kept getting deeper and deeper. Finally. After an hour and a half in the bathroom, I walked out. The nurse gave me a horrific glare. And the student looked just as uncomfortable as I felt. When I got back to class the teacher yelled at me in front of everyone for being gone so long. And I panic lied by yelling at the top of my lungs I had diarrhea. Full stop. All the kids in class laughed at me. And the part that sucked was that I now knew most of their embarrassing secrets. Work at a bank and do notaries for people who walk in. Had a young couple come and for a notary. Maybe mid twenties. We sit down and I ask so what are we notarizing today? Divorce papers. Well. So much for small talk. So they take out their IDs so I can jot down their info. His ID was a little older and had a picture from when he was a lot younger. She looks at it and comments that's not the same person. I don't think much of it as I continue to write. Then she says. That person was nice. I've never been so uncomfortable in my life. Finished up and got them the hell out of our sap. There was a bridge that was closed off for work so you had to walk around to go underneath it. I had walked underneath and come out the other end when a woman with a guide dog approached me. She said something like how do you get over the bridge? Whilst looking me directly in the eyes. So I thought to. Oh, she can see. Occasionally I see people training guide dogs around here so I thought she was too. So I said you just go round there. Over that bit and head that way whilst pointing. But no. She turned out to be blind. Not me but a classmate of mine in the 7th grade was talking to the most attractive girl in our class on a little break. Our teacher out of nowhere calls him over to his desk. He hesitates for a second and walks over pitching a tense in his pants. 